Welcome back to a brand new video, Moon Market Family. Remember, my videos are very time sensitive, so you need to have the notification bell turned on so you can get here and watch these videos as soon as they drop. They can be very time sensitive. In yesterday's video, I covered a stock. It's doing very well today. We'll go over that. I'll, co I'll go over a potential loser that I recently talked about, and I'm going to go over a stock that I just bought that is in the middle of a momentum run. So the stock that I bought today has been getting a lot of volume today. It's in the middle of a momentum run, and this is why you have to have the notification bell turned on so you can get here, see what I'm talking about, see the hottest stocks in the game, because obviously you want to be the one to get a proper entry. You want to be the one to have all the levels in place. You want to be able to have a full, clear and concise trading plan in place as quickly as possible on these plays. So let's get right into the video. In yesterday's video, I covered ticker BOF that it was forming an inside bar pattern, guys. And we can see here that yes, it has been playing out perfectly. It, it is up 23% today. It was actually up to over 280, nearly hit $3 per share. Moon Market Family, this played out perfectly. You can see I was talking about the potential inside bar trade opportunity for ticker BOF. I gave you an example for BIAF on what it could possibly look at. And this is how it's playing out today. I mentioned in yesterday's video that I personally would be accumulating tomorrow early pre-market on dips for ticker BOF. And if you did, go ahead and have that trading plan in place so you can wake up in the morning and execute on the trading plan, then boom, you would have had a 35% potential opportunity or even if you got in later, 26, 28, there was a clear opportunity that I gave a clear and concise trading plan on ticker BOF. If you do want clear and concise trading plans on penny stocks for free on this YouTube channel, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. And if you drop a like on these videos, you get them here instantly. Now you have to have a stop loss in place because was there a chance that BOF may have not worked out and then you had a stop loss? Well, what you could have done if it didn't work out is let's say you accumulated, you followed your trading plan, you accumulated in the $2 to 220 level that I mentioned. Well, it didn't work out and you had a stop loss under two. You got stopped out under two for about an 8% loss. You can have a tighter stop loss. You can have a 5% stop loss, but you're basically risking five to 10% to, to potentially make a 37% opportunity. That is good risk to reward ratio there. And you can see that both BOF has played out perfectly. Of course, this is still not a long-term hold. This is the stock that I am taking profit out on this move up higher today. It is what it is. Yes. Could it actually continue higher? I believe it's still a very strong play to watch for next week. It is Friday, so you might see some profit takers on a stock like this. But going into next week, if you see this tomorrow, let's say Monday pre-market, holding over 235 strong and getting volume still, then BOF is going to be a yet again a continued opportunity to watch based on how high the volume has been because they got 105 million volume recently today it's at over 10 million volume so the volume is there this could be a continuation play but remember you can always take profit on the way up there boom and then get a re-entry on you know a closer support level which right now is 235 if it breaks under 235 next support level for a pet potential adding opportunity for BOF is 220 and then make sure you have your stop loss under $2 at this point clear and concise easy trading plan put that stop loss under 2 make sure you don't hold this long term make sure you take your profit and guys this is how it's done over here on the moon market channel real time education and showing you guys this inside bar so now you can take this inside bar that you learned about and use this for future trading opportunities. Write this down, put it in your notes, put it in your books, guys. We're going to make money on this channel. Yes, I'm going to have losers along the way. People, a lot of people are asking about me about ticker GRRR, and it has gone down about 10, 20% since I covered it in the video. It is at its previous all-time low, so it's got to bounce. It's got to bounce at 479. Right now, it has bounced there. People have told me that there was some sort of bad news out at about potentially expanding their share capital, which is potential dilution. Yes, if dilution takes place and something changes about the company, then boom, I'll take the loss. I'll own up to it. I'll own up. Yes, I took the loss. 
I made a mistake right now. It's, it, it did not hit my stop loss level, but 429 stop loss. You guys can have a much tighter stop loss on this one. You don't have to have it all the way down at 429. You can have it at, you know, under 454, 49, for example, would be a 5% stop loss from that 479 all time low. Or if you're, let's say you're in at 533, maybe you already got stopped out. Maybe you have a stop loss under that 4. 79 level on ticker GRR. So if it doesn't work out, they don't put out news, they actually put out bad news and it doesn't work out in your favor, then you get stopped out. Guys, if you have these trading plans in place and limit your losses on your uh, limit your losses to only 5 to 10% and then move on to the winners like BOF where you could have traded this for an easy 20-30% trading opportunity today. That's okay. You're not going to be correct 100% of the time. You're not going to get into the stock and every stock you're going to get in is going to rip higher. You have to be able to, you have to be willing to actually trade and take a loss and then move on to the winner. So where you can cut your losses quick, get out of your losses quick, move on to the winners and ride out some potential big winners within the stock market. Yes, I'm always taking profit. I'm always having my stop losses in place. I'm having a true, true, clear trading plan. It's so key to have a clear trading plan before you enter a trade. That is so important to me, guys. Getting a proper entry, having accumulation zone, having a clear stop loss, and take profit level. So HWH, yes, I'm in ticker HWH, 2.05, $15,000 market value. Now, guys, this is in the middle of a run right now. So if we take a look at the price action live here, we can go ahead and see right now that HWH is, you know, sitting at two or at 6.16 million volume at a 2.29 million flow. We love that. We actually want to see high volume. It's traded a massive amount of its volume, has 21 million cash on hand at a $33 million market cap, a 2.35 million float. HWH put out news today that they entered into a joint venture to build its travel business. Now, that's great news. Great to see it. This stock has a really good looking daily chart here. All righty, guys. So this play is probably going to be on hot high on my radar going into next week. I am in it right now, but of course I'm going to have a clear trading plan in place. So what I'm looking at for uh, HWH now, the ideal accumulation zone would be under two. So from 169 to $2, that would be ideal accumulation range. Also, if you see this just holding over two, holding over two, holding over two, you may have to uh, pay a little bit higher price. You may have to get a little bit of higher entry to go ahead and play ticker HWH for a potential 5, 10, 15, or 20% or even higher move to the upside for ticker HWH. Now, like I said, my entry is at 205 right now, set over 7,000 shares, although I am going to be looking to take profit on these moves higher. Now, what am I looking at for ticker HWH? If we take a look at the chart here, it, there is resistance at 257. So, if it does get to 257, you may see a, a cooldown off of that 257 level before it might potentially try to break back higher. So you might see a double top of the 257 level but and, and rejection near 257 or a little bit before it. So maybe about 250 rejection if it does gain momentum, if the volume does continue into next week and this does start to curl back higher you're going to want to look for that 257 break, but if you might see a rejection at that level. So like I said, the accumulation, ideal accumulation zone would be under two, 169 to $2. And then on this one, I would be looking to set a stop loss depending on where you got your entry at. So key because some, some, somebody's stop loss might be different compared to others depending on where you got your entry. For me at 205 right there, my stop loss would probably be put somewhere under 187. Okay. And then I would, you know, if I did get stopped out, but I would definitely be looking to accumulate another position in that, in that load zone, in my accumulation zone, and then put a stop loss. Let's say I accumulated it down at 185, put a stop loss then at under, you know, you know, somewhere in the 160 range, somewhere under 
probably 169 to 165. So you want to keep your stop loss, depending on where you got your entry at, at seven to ten percent. Five might be a little five percent might be a little bit too tight, but a seven to ten percent stop loss is something good to look at. HWH it has a lot of eyes, it has has a lot of volume. You might see a pullback. Like I said, the ideal accumulation zone is 169 to two dollars. They did post news today. I am trading ticker HWH. Right now, we hit a big winner on ticker BOF. Congratulations to those that play the inside bar. Now I am looking at ticker HWH. And guys, remember, if you want to hop in the private Discord, get some extra stock ideas, you can hop over there. You can take a look at it. Take a look at the alerts that we had today. Yes, we were talking about ticker PGY. You know, we even said that our target was 10 cents when we were getting in at 4 cents. Yes, we had a loser today, ticker KTRA. I filled it. It was looking strong, although I ended up cutting my loss on KTRA because I took BDRX at a dollar five, and BDRX ended up taking all the volume. Maybe if BDRX didn't have that news at all, KTRA could have took the crown and could have took the volume. But since BDRX dropped some really hot news, I took 105. And then guess what I did for BDRX? I went ahead and continued to scale out my profit on this play from 105. And then it went all the way up from 105 to 163, even hit 174. I scaled my profit out for an over 50% pop on ticker BDRX. You can see here over 50%. So if you do want those extra alerts, there's a link in the top pin comment to join the private Discord. Remember, you got to be willing to cut your losses quick at a 5, 7 to 10% loss and then move on to the next play so you can actually have a real clear and concise trading plan when to accumulate, where to put the stop loss, where to take profit. That's what we're doing on this channel. Drop a like on this video if you do appreciate that content, guys. And that is it for me. Peace.